There is a chance that everyone will come together and get behind this, and we've got the chance to build a future in which there's not going to be violence and there isn't going to be war, and we're able to secure a situation where people can take their place as democratically elected representatives, and in doing so will of course obey the rules that are there in relation both to the Assembly and to the particular part of the provisions on decommissioning. Thank you. My name is Mark Durkin. I was part of the SDLP negotiating team for the Good Friday Agreement. I grew up uh, in Derry from in a family that probably wouldn't have been that political as such, uh, but growing up in Derry in the 60s and 70s, inevitably you're very aware of the uh, political situation. Uh, as a student, I got involved in student union, got involved in student union politics, and in 1983, John Hume asked me if I would come back to Derry and work for him as his Westminster assistant and so it was a huge education, uh, it was uh, an enormous privilege but uh, it also carried its, its pressures, not least whenever you were aware that there were dialogues going on uh, that were actually uh, private. John Hume was engaged in a lot of efforts with uh, the major government to try to uh, get terms declared that would encourage an IRA ceasefire on the basis that they would be assured that Sinn Féin would be entering talks uh, very soon. Uh, that wasn't forthcoming. That was very frustrating. I can remember how despondent John Hume and Father Reid were uh, at that time when those efforts were rejected. But again, it resumed uh, in 1997. In the early months of 97, John was again uh, at those efforts because he felt that, well, if other parties aren't going to seriously negotiate until the terms of entry for Sinn Féin uh, have been sorted, then we need to achieve that to make these talks real and to make them uh, inclusive. So we then moved into proper negotiations in uh, September of 97. Of course, some parties left the talks. There was the question of would the UUP stay within the talks. When they appeared to walk out, they came back in along with uh, loyalists. The agreement wasn't necessarily an entirely easy sell uh, during the referendum. There were many challenging issues for people and we had to be upfront uh, about some of those challenging issues. But it meant that whenever the referendum was achieved, you had a sense not just that the parties had achieved something, but the people of Ireland North and South had achieved something collectively. Here was a covenant of honour between Ireland's two great legitimate uh, traditions. And so I think we need to relook at the language of the Good Friday uh, Agreement, renew some of those pledges, some of those senses of commitments, and we need to fix some of the unnecessary problems and the bad practices that have crept in.